Hey everyone, Charles here at E-Trailer, and today we're taking a look at the Saris MHS Modular Bike Rack on a 2019 GMC Acadia. Because of the double tire hold, this bike rack can accommodate a lot of different kinds of bikes, especially your carbon frames and those with a custom paint job. Pretty much the only kind would be those with a fender. And it does have a tilt-away feature, which is awesome. The only problem is with our long, uh, handlebars here our hatch is going to make contact at about right here but we can just take the bike off to be able to access that we are going to have three attachment points a strap for the front tire and then two of the wheel mounts to take the bike off we're going to start with the strap and just get that out of the way and then from here, we can go ahead and push on this gray button. Swing that out of the way. And then keeping one hand on the frame so it doesn't fall on your vehicle, we can now push on this gray button and get that out of the way. And now our bike is free. Over here, you can see that we can adjust the heights to accommodate your different size tires. We just have to unscrew this and screw it back in on a different notch here. One really cool thing about the Saris MHS is the integrated cable locks makes it nice and handy and you don't have to worry about misplacing them, but they are going to lock into themselves. They're going to be Keta-like and they're also going to be Keta-like with the lock that comes on your anti-rattle bolts. You can accommodate your five inch fat tire bikes on here and the strap will slide back and forth to accommodate your wheel bases of up to 53 inches. And it is gonna be made out of steel and aluminum. So even though it's relatively big, it's not gonna to be too heavy. And with the bike rack on the back of your vehicle, you have some added length. So from the bumper to the furthest point out, we're at about 35 and a quarter inches, something to keep in mind when you're backing up and the ground clearance to the bottom of this handle. It's gonna be about 18 inches. And from the shank, it's gonna be about 15 inches. Another thing to keep in mind when you're going down the steep driveways or steep hills, the front of your vehicle is gonna go up and the rear is gonna go down. We can also fold this rack up to save some space in our garage or in a parking lot. Just pull on this handle that we used to tilt it away. And it does have two stopping modes in the folding up position. It'd be great if you had a spare tire on the back of your vehicle. But today we're just gonna bring it all the way up. And so now from the bumper to the furthest point, it's gonna be about 13 and a half inches. And the closest point is gonna be about three and a half inches, but nothing to worry about as it's not gonna get any closer than that. With this folded up, you are going to lose visibility from your rear backup camera as well as your license plate, but you are gonna have full visibility out of your rear windshield. And over here we have our two inch shank that fits into our two inch hitch receiver. And the anti-rattle bolt reduces any play in the receiver tube. As you can see, as I'm shaking the rack, the whole vehicle is moving, ensuring its secure connection. Overall, this is a solid, well-built bike rack. I love the super smooth movements that this has. If you wanted something that's a little bit more economical, but with about the same features, check out the Rocky Mounts monorail bike rack. But other than that, this is a good choice. And that's gonna do it for our look on the Saris MHS bike rack on a 2019 GMC Acadia.